Vincent van Gogh. One of the greatest painters of all time, with some of his art now going for hundreds of millions of dollars. And today, I'm going to make it my mission to join him, by recreating his most famous painting in Minecraft. The easiest way i found to do this is by using like Mattica, which pretty much tells you exactly where you need to place each block, making projects like this actually feasible to complete. But first, I need a schematic. Then I stumbled across Starry Night, one of his most famous paintings, sent it to a pixel art generator and opened it up in a creative world. In the painting itself, there is one slight mini issue though. Some of the blocks in the painting are physically impossible to get in Superflat. Blocks like Prismarine, Sponges and Ores aren't a thing in Superflat at all, so I had to quickly change them out and replace them. Technically, we we could also get diamond blocks, but look, am I really going to get 200 blocks of diamond for this build? The answer is absolutely not. And after replacing it with some more achievable blocks, we were ready to send the design into Lightmatica and open the schematic into the world. Then all we had to do was collect every single block that we needed, and good god, we need a lot. And by a lot, I mean just over 16,000 blocks. Now that is quite a lot. To start things off, I wanted to collect all the blocks in the end. Why? Good question. Anyway, all we needed was a couple of bits of end stone, crafted some of it into end bricks, and for the very first time, picked up some purple blocks and pillars. On the way back, I also picked up a couple of bits of obsidian, and I then moved on to collecting all of the masonry blocks, as I figured this would probably be one of the more awkward sections to finish off. For the most part, we already had a bunch of stone left over, so it was mainly a matter of crafting it and smelting it into all the blocks we needed. It was kind of like a mini treasure hunt, finding and collecting all the blocks we need, which was <laughs> actually kind of fun. But one thing I didn't quite have enough of was diorite. And I found out fairly recently that you can craft both diorite and andesite. So I headed to the nether, picked up some quartz, and eventually turned it into polished diorite and polished andesite, ticking off every masonry block we needed for the painting. While I was there, I figured I might as well pick up all the blocks we needed from the nether, and surprisingly there's only five main things we need. A bunch of quartz to turn into quartz pillars, and a few smooth quartz blocks- oh my- and a few smooth quartz blocks. Oh my god. We need a ton of bone blocks, and we need 65 nether bricks, and finally, 44 red nether bricks. The next major thing I wanted to work on was getting all of the wood blocks. But from previous projects, we've kind of already got a bunch of these materials already. The main thing we needed was spruce logs. So I spent a very fun 20 minutes chopping trees down until we finally had all the wood we needed. Then I felt like it was time to work on one of the more difficult blocks to get, which was concrete. And boy oh boy, we need a lot of it. Predominantly black, blue, and light blue concrete. But the thing is, concrete is kind of weird. Since it's a gravity block, we can make an end duper, one of these things, along with a chunk loader. And I'm gonna be completely honest, I have absolutely no idea how this works. I just watched this guy's tutorial, followed it block by block, and even then it still didn't really work. Faffed around with it for a couple of minutes, and boom, it worked flawlessly. I think. All we have to do now is wait and wait and oh my god this is incredibly fast this farm is incredible like seriously if you don't have this in your world please dear god make one and i've only built half of this farm meaning we can literally get double the output now that was impressive and after afking for about five minutes i was able to convert all the concrete powder into usable solid concrete blocks the last major thing we needed was wool, and we need just under 4,000 blocks worth of wool. Originally, I was planning on building some type of wool farm and AFKing for a while, and we will eventually, but I think there might be an easier way to do this. Since the painting is horizontal, we can just use carpets and achieve the exact same effect. And carpets are much easier to get. If we make this mini farm machine thingy and spam it a bunch of times, it duplicates an absolute ton of carpets. Why? I don't know. I think it's a bug. But soon after, we quickly finished off every wool carpet block we needed. And from this point onwards, it's going to be pretty easy to get the rest of the blocks we need. All that's left are the kind of awkward blocks that we only need a couple of bits of. Things like a couple of blocks of terracotta, one block of bricks, a few pieces of soul sand, one singular block of netherrack, and a bunch of other fairly random blocks. The hardest few things we needed to get was just over a stack of hay bale blocks, half a stack of iron blocks, quite a lot of gold blocks, and just under 100 blocks of emeralds. And surprisingly, these last few final blocks took just under 3 days to get, which I actually think is pretty good going. I'm pretty sure we have every single block that we need, and this is the past 8 days, I think, of my life has been dedicated into making these so many shulker boxes. So, finally, let's get started building it.
Okay, so it's been about an hour and you can see we've kind of got the vast majority of the sky done. The next few things I want to get done is getting these like stars done. There's quite a few of them and it would be good to get them all done and kind of crossed off so that this entire sky is done. So I guess we'll get started doing that then. Okay, so I think we've got the vast majority of the solid blocks done. But I think the next thing to work on is going to be finishing off the carpets. Obviously, we've got the carpet blocks that we're going to be using to place it down, but I'm not sure how it's going to work. Like, we can't place it there, so we're going to have to place a random block down. So we're probably going to use netherrack, I reckon, and then place carpets above that. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess that works. That might take a while to get done, though, but we can get started with that then. God, it's going to take forever to do then. Oh my gosh. And it's done. I'm pretty sure that is every carpet block down. Done and dusted. And going through this, I've realized I've missed quite a few concrete blocks. So I'll have to go back and just finish off them once we've got the next bit done. But speaking of the next bit, I want to get started on finishing up the concrete powder. I'll be honest, I kind of thought I'd never get this video done. It felt like it was taking so long to make progress, but now it feels like we're actually starting to get somewhere. Obviously, we can't just place the blocks as they are, like here, because they'll fall all the way down to the bottom. So if we have a block in front and then on top of that, that should be fine. I can't think of an issue so far that that might cause, but I'm sure it'll be fine. So we'll get started on the concrete powder then. Okay, so I think we're done, and it does look pretty weird having all these blocks up here now, but I think it's done. And it actually got done a lot faster than I thought it would have, to be honest. I thought this might have taken a couple of hours to do, but no, it only took about half an hour, which is actually pretty good going. There were quite a few bits of concrete that I've kind of left, and the odd bit of cobblestone and wood, so it'd be good to get that all ticked off, and then this build will be pretty much done. So, I guess we might as well just do it. <laughs> Oh, this is going to take a long time to get done. Okay, I think... <laughs> I think it's done. At the end, it didn't take as long as I first thought. It still looks crazy from here. But... The next thing we need to do is get a map. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, that's a map. We have a map. Assuming that I've got this build in the right place, which I'm sure I have, and I haven't made a mistake doing it, we should be able to open up the map, and it should fit perfectly. Oh, God, I hope I haven't made a mistake with this. Oh, nice. Oh, that looks sick. Oh, damn. Okay, and finally, after a month of building, it's finally done. Ah. That looks alright. 